Hi, my name is Nis Momin. I'll be showing how to configure a via Aura media server in survivability mode for Aura 7.x. First, we need to add the node names. For the Avaya Media Server, the LSP or ESS into the node name list. So I have already added the node names in my lab system. That is Anis AMS, that is the Avaya Media Server node name and its IP, and the Anis LSP, that is the local survival processor and its IP. And also, I have one more test AMS which I have used in my lab system and its IP. Next you save this and now we add the signaling for the Avaya media server. I add the signaling. This is the default page when you try to add a signaling group. I select the group type as SIP. The next step is for the transport method. We can use as TCP or TLS. I'm using currently STLS. The peer detection, this is by default enabled, so you need to set it as no. Once you set it as no, you'll get the option for peer server, and here you have three options that is the AMS, others, and session manager SM. So I'll select it as AMS. Now, when you select it as AMS, for TLS, the port by default will be 9061 and the near end node name will be Procker. You cannot change this to CLAN or any other node name, the near end node name. By default, it will be Procker and the far end node name, I select it as an ECMS which I have added in the node name. The network region. When you select the node name, the far end domain will populate automatically. So this IP address which you see here is the IP address which I had defined in the node name. I click on save. Okay, now once I save it, we check the signaling. It's showing as in service. Since I have made it as TLS, I'll add one more signaling group as TCP for the same AMS server. So let me add the next signaling group. I select it as SIP. This will be TCP. Parent detection enabled no AMS. So if you see when I select the port as TCP, the transport method as TCP, the near end node name will have node name as Procker and the po listen port will be 5060. And for the far end node name, I define it as an ECMS and the far end network region as 2. And the same IP it will populate. If I click on save, it will say as already in use. Since I have already added the far end node name in another signaling group, it will not allow me to save it. So when you take the transport method as TCP, you need to make sure that in the Avaya media server, you have the CM as a trusted node. So for that, you need to log into the web page of Avaya media server with your login ID and password. Then go to the system configuration, signaling protocols, SIP, nodes and routes. And here I added my CM IP in the trusted nodes. So when you add this in the trusted node, then you can check the status signaling and it should show you as up. Next is add the media server. So when you add the media server, this is the page you will see initially when you try to add it. Here will be the signaling group, which I have added for the ANIS AMS. So I select it as two. And here it, it will ask you for the dedicated VoIP channel licenses. So I define it as 50. And this configuration is by default taken. So the node name is taken when you select the signaling group, the network region, which is defined on the signaling group. And this announcement storage. So this this is the value which is added when you add an announcement in the CM. So I save it. Next, I'll check the media server registration. So when I do this media server, it will show me as 
in service and the other media server is showing me as pins that is pending in service so in this page you'll see that the signaling group which is defined for that media server the signaling group 2 and this for signaling group 3 for the test ams media server the dedicated licenses add as i defined on the first page that was 50 and for the other media server it's 5 the network region associated with the media server and these are the states so there are different types of state where the media server will show as in service out of service pending in service p lock lock no license so it it will it defines different types of state so pending in service in the sense the cm is actively attempting to contact the avaya media server and trying to establish the needed control sessions so the pending service state is it's very short lived it it will last for few seconds the avaya media server or network should be examined for the problems next is to add the local survival processor in my case i have already added this lsp so here you have the type where you can select is at lsp ess the type which you want the cluster id mid for that survival processor so i have selected as two the proker network region and the node name here is the difference which we have in the avaya media server configuration the second page of the survival processor is the media server parameters so this is basically the priority with respect to the media servers so each survival processor is assigned a priority with respect to media servers and this value can be from 2 to 9999 so the lower values are higher priority priority 1 is basically reserved for the main cm the range is broad so that you can leave unused numbers between each survival processor to make it easier to add new survival processor in the future so i select it as 2 media server priority list next page is the msrl that is the media server reporting list so this this defines that each survival processor with a non blank priority is also given a media server reporting list so msrl list so the msrl defines which media server should be used to determine when that survival processor goes active normally you would include one or more media server from each network region for which this survival processor is acting as a backup these are the two media servers which i added so when you try you can add it as many as you want but at least two media servers from each network is recommended for the redundancy if desired you can put all the media servers in the msrl list but however it's not recommended to have all the media servers in the list it can affect the server load and the network traffic i save this display survival processor so when i go to the survival processor second page this is the priority which i have defined as two for this survival processor please note that the priority can also be blank any survival processor with a blank priority will never become active due to the media servers that survival processor might still become active however if a port network or media gateway connects to it so for example i have with media servers i have media gateways and port networks this priority list is kept as blank but the media gateway and port network they try to register to the ess or lsp that lsp will still become active but if the media gateway there is no media gateway and no port networks and only media servers are into the environment that survival processor will not go active if this page is left blank so it's important to have this priority with respect to the media servers defined as we have the system parameter list for the media gateway recovery rules the same way we have system parameters for ms recovery rules so there are a few parameters like auto return here it is set as yes then failover parameters the report interval and the report expiration in seconds time delay you can also schedule it so when i go to change system parameter ms recovery rule there are three options scheduled yes and no this is the configuration required for avaya aura media server in survivability mode for aura 7.x onwards thank you for your time today we hope this information was useful we welcome your comments questions and feedback at mentor@avaya.com or on twitter at avaya mentor 
Thank you for choosing Avaya.